called Live with Love. Tell me about this. Yeah, so what we do is we prepare the whole meal for you in, in a raw form, send it out in a full kit, and then we do live cooking demos where we cook together. So um, we've got a big one coming up. There's yours right there, the Live with Love that we're going to do today. And then, but coming up soon, uh, I'm doing one with Live Nation that we're going to hopefully do globally. It will be the largest grilling demonstration wow. in the world. We're hoping to have around, you know, 15 to 20,000 people participate at the exact same time, all grilling under my direction all over the world. I Bring the world that. together. Okay, love and love. Yeah. I, okay, if you need a sous chef, I'm in. I practiced this pork. Now, I have a grill, but it's not fired up yet. So I did the crock pot route. So tell me what we need to do to make this recipe. Oh, that looks good. Okay, so there's two ways to do this, right? You can smoke it or put it in a crock pot, depending on what you have at your house. So okay. if you'd like to smoke it, we take the pork and we make a rub with it. We rub the pork shoulder and then we put it into the crock pot or the smoker. If you put it in the mm -hmm. crock pot, we'd like to add in some peppers, sweet peppers, and mm -hmm. some jalapeno peppers and some onions, which I know you have done. And Not so that. I kind of replicated that with the smoker. So if you see mine here, I've got the whole smoked pork butt, and I went ahead and smoked some onions and peppers, so we'd be kind of Oh, easy. that's nice. Yeah. Now, you want to take your pepper. We're going to cut around the edges of the pepper, leaving the seeds in the center, yep. right? Just yes. like so. And then we're going to slice that pepper up, what we call julienne, or long strips, like this. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do the same thing with your onion. Right, slice the onion up, and then you slice up your jalapeno. Now, you can use the one that's in your crock pot if you like. That's already okay, cooked, or you can that. use a raw one. Let's, let's get a saute pan. You have a saute okay. pan handy? Got it. And we're going to add, add some oil to it, a little bit of oil. And then we're going to add in our onions. All right. To our audience at home, yes. clearly I'm behind. Okay. So we have all the peppers, the onions, some sliced garlic, okay? Uh-huh. Now, we're going to let that cook. As we let that cook, we're going to add a little salt and pepper to it, okay? Got it. Then, we're going to take our tortilla, grab the goat cheese, and spread the goat cheese on the tortilla, like so. And again, I love this recipe because it is also, it's it's a good dish for adults, but kids will like it too. Because anything with a tortilla, my son loves, throw in some cheese That's and it's magic. And also, Cameron, when you make that pork like you did, you can make a little mashed potatoes with it and have it for dinner one night, and the next day you have this quesadilla for lunch. But you always want to know what to do with the leftovers. Well, this is it right here. Okay. You can that with just a bit of salt. And nice. then we take that tender pork that you have, as you see here, and peel it apart and put chunks of it in with your peppers oh, and onions. Like beautiful. Ah, oh, my pork is <laughs> This is how tender <laughs> this pork is. That, ladies and yeah. gentlemen, is what you call fall off the bone. Off the bone. I'm going to put that That's in the skillet. About. That's right. So then we take the pork like this with the peppers, like so. Then we take the quesadilla mm. and fold it over in half, like this. We take some oil and we paint one side of it like this. And we put it onto the griddle. Now, if you don't have a griddle, wow. grill. If you don't have I got a, grill, a griddle, you can put it yeah. in a saute pan. Nice. Then we paint the other nice. And you season it with just a little bit of salt and pepper. So then. So you toast both sides long. of it? Mm. Yeah, it doesn't take long. So when I flip it, look how pretty this is. Gorgeous. Look at that. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I've got one finished right here. I like to serve okay. it with a little bit of my own Guajillo Ranchero because that's how I do it. Just like no this, way. like this. And then we grab a nice little bite of it. It's got a nice little crunch to oh it. Oh my too. gosh. Oh yeah. Go to TamronHallShow.com to see my finished version of Tim Love's awesome quesadilla recipe. And Tim, congratulations on everything.